Get ready, it's another episode of Hempy at Home. Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about fielding your position. All of the techniques that I've covered so far uh, this season have been about helping you to become a better pitcher, but we need to remember that we are also responsible for being a fielder as well. Caitlin Metz, and she snags that one, and now caught in a pickle is Burns, and they get Burns. Oh no, they get Arneson at third. The double play, the unconventional way, gets Metz out of the jam. Um, I have seen at times certain teams that uh, don't rely on their pitcher to help when it comes to making a play uh, and I don't agree with that and you are an athlete and I think if you are able to get to the ball you should most definitely go and make that play. You are also the closest person to the batter and if you're able to get your hand on the ball first you're going to cut a lot of time off making that play uh, and be more likely to get that person out. To get set up for this drill it's going to be most ideal if you can have a catcher and a net you only have one or the other, we can totally make that work. Right now, I only have a net available to me, which is why I have a, a few balls spread out on the ground here, because I don't have someone who can throw me a grounder, which would be awesome. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be stepping back here uh, to make an invisible pitch, since I don't have a net or a catcher to throw to. And then I'm going to jog over, uh, really run over, because you should be hustling when you're making a play as the pitcher. And I'm going to grab that ball, and I'm going to make my throw to first base. If you have a catcher available to you, it would be ideal if they had an extra ball, and you threw a real pitch to them, and immediately after they caught it, they rolled you a nice little grounder or a little dribbler that you could field and throw into your net that you also have set up at first base up on my invisible mound back here. Something that I want to focus on with you is how to approach the ball and pick it up uh, in certain scenarios. So if you are just fielding a ball that is lying flat like this on the ground, or in a real game scenario, if a ball has just come off of someone's bat and it lost a lot of steam, and by the time you got to it, the ball is now still, you're going to be running up to that ball and you're going to grab it bare hand and throw it into your net over there or throw it to first base. Okay? So general rule of thumb, if it's sitting still, you need to just go in with your bare hand, push it really hard into the ground so you don't it doesn't slip or anything like that and you get going to first base. The reason for that is to just save you a little extra time. In a lot of these scenarios, you're going to be racing to beat that person who's running to first, so you got to do anything and everything to make it a little bit faster. If you have someone who's just slowly rolling you uh, some grounders after you've done your pitch, rule of thumb for motion. If the motion of the ball is really slow, it's just kind of lightly rolling over to you, in a game scenario, what I'd like you to do is I want you to trap the ball with your glove, use your glove almost like a paddle to stop the ball, and then you'll grab it with your bare hand and go. So pretend my ball is rolling very slowly, I approach it, trap it, and I get going. The last one is obviously if they hit a really hard grounder that you can just reach for, you're gonna get that in your glove like you normally would, okay? If it's a line drive that you can reach, obviously reach out and get that. Uh, last pointer is for pop-ups. Rule of thumb on pop-ups. If it is directly over the pitcher's mound or just a few feet straight out from your position, yes, you should be going for that one because you are uh, the most sort of directly in front of the ball uh, player. In all other scenarios, I want you to be ready to grab the ball if you have to, if it's a little closer to the first baseline, if it's a little closer to the third baseline. Uh, I want you to be ready, but almost always your first, third, and catcher should call you off of a pop fly. 
So expect to take a lot more grounders than pot flies when you're a pitcher. Today we mostly talked through making throws to first. Next week I'm going to be collaborating with our catching coach and we're going to be doing a feature on making plays at home. That's a whole other ball game and usually when we're making plays at home it's at a very crucial point in the game and we need to keep runs from scoring. Stay tuned for that.